Hello everyone, I am sorry for the delay in content. I was traveling last month, but I'm back now, providing you with the realest and most helpful advice in physical therapy. I wanted to make this video today to talk about one of the biggest lies you are told as a PT student, a lie that I was told myself, but refused to believe. Before I really dive into this topic, please hit that like button below, please subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any new content. Now, as a student, I was told by my professors and at CSM that I should expect to make $65,000 per year as a new grad, non-negotiable, regardless of setting, etc. Many people telling me this never actually worked in other settings, never really negotiated, and or were some of the APTA's biggest sponsors. I want you to take a minute to note that some of the APTA's biggest sponsors, companies you see at CSM, are known mills. Now, why am I telling you this and why am I making this video? These same mills, sponsors, schools do not tell you that your license makes a certain amount of money per patient. And guess what? Your license does not become more valuable over time. So based purely on a billing perspective, there is no reason for discrepancy in pay between someone who's brand new and someone who's done it 10 plus years. Now pay is setting dependent. As I've mentored students as new grads who made 211K in 11 months in home health. Yes, 211K. But I've also mentored those who made 100K in outpatient through understanding that their license generates revenue, understanding billing, and understanding negotiation. Furthermore, not only did I want to make this video to educate you on billing, but to educate you on contract negotiations. Unfortunately, many of you weren't taught labor laws, contract laws, or how to negotiate an offer but it is what you need to do to be successful as a PT and not become a burnt out staff PT with no upwards mobility. I do want to note, and I want you to note, that if you are paid hourly, it is illegal for you to work off the clock. This includes unpaid documentation time. If you are a full-time employee, or if you are paid per visit, it's going to depend on your contract, what's expected, but if you are doing things outside of that contract or work-related tasks not in that contract, you may be entitled to some form of compensation for violation of labor laws. Most importantly, please do not accept any offer without negotiation. I do not care if you are a new grad or a veteran PT. You should never accept the first offer without a counter offer. Additionally, if you are being pressured to accept an offer without time to consult with anyone else, your contract may not be valid as it can be asserted that you entered into it under undue influence. So please do not be pressured into a contract. If you are, it may not be valid. What I'm trying to get at is that you need to know your worth, negotiate, and don't listen to anyone else that tells you otherwise. You have a license that is a money maker, and you need to use that license to take your power back. These companies aren't gonna get paid if they can't use your license. All right, that pretty much covers it. Before I go, don't forget that I'm giving away $500 cash and to enter, all you need to do is purchase my 10 CEU home health course through the end of May. A 40% off link will be in the description below. If you are not interested in that, you can now save on MedBridge by using the code BRANDON. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great week.